Hi everyone, this is Chi. And this is Roxanne, and we are from winery.ph. Today we're here to taste and talk about a range of sparkling wines from Chandon. Chandon is actually um, a brand of sparkling wines that has its roots in France, but is crafted in Argentina. So in Argentina, there's actually the Andes Mountains. So for these wines, you'll be expecting some um, acidity and citrus um, notes on it. Yeah, definitely. So Argentina is known for high altitude vineyards, as Rock said. And what that brings to the wine is that it actually allows um, all of these fresh, fruity flavors to really stand out. So the first wine that we will be tasting is the Chandon Brut. This is made exactly the same way Champagne is made, using the same grape varieties. I'm going to be giving her the wine served in a regular wine glass. Because with this, she'll be able to actually smell the wine more accurately. And because I'm just enjoying myself, I'll be using a flute. So as she mentioned, this is actually made with the same grape varieties as that of the Champagne. But uh, you can get it as a third of the cost. So if you want to grab a bottle of Champagne, but or you're on a tight budget, go ahead and grab a bottle of Chandon Brut. It's fresh, fruity, elegant. I think it's a balanced sparkling. Yeah, what kind of uh, food are you going to pair this with, Chief? So I'm getting very, very good levels of acidity, lots of apple flavors, citrus flavors. I'd be happy to just drink this on its on own. Its own yeah. But if I were to pair it with food, um, especially during the holiday season, where you do a lot of pass around plates, maybe seafood-based appetizer, um, some soft cheese would definitely do the trick. So the next... For the next one, <laughs> we have the Chandon Rosé. Okay, so it's my turn to do the work. From the get-go, you can already see this is a rosé. So there, it's pale salmon pink color. And I think there is a little bit more Pinot Noir in it this wine, yeah? Definitely on the nose, I'm getting more red fruit characters. Strawberry, ripe cherry, a little bit of watermelon, actually. On the palate, it's richer, rounder. It is not sweet by any means. It is still dry, very good levels of acidity. But definitely, this is a wine that has a little bit more oomph than the brew. Yeah, compared to the first one. Correct. So what would you suggest that we... Uh, enjoy I think with we, the rosé. We can enjoy this with a smoked salmon or a salad with what type of dressing? Maybe something that echoes the aromas of the wine. So maybe like a raspberry vinaigrette would go very, very well with this. Yeah. So the next wine that we will try is the Chandon de Lis. And I think it's such an interesting wine, Ross. Yes, it is. Uh, so the Chandon de Lis, you may actually consider this as a sweet wine. Because you'll be expecting some mangoes, pineapple, honey notes from this one. So. Yeah, it's going. And you might notice we have ice in our glasses. For this wine, Chandon de Lis, you can go ahead because this is very concentrated um, sweetness. So if you put ice, uh, the flavors won't actually be diluted right away. Very refreshing. Yeah, very refreshing. There is sweetness, but there is also still that really good backbone of acidity that is pretty much... Um, cuts across all of these Chandon sparkling wines. This is a wine that I would definitely have with something sweet. Yeah. But because it is not overly sweet, I will not overpower it with a super, super sweet dessert. So maybe you can do a New York cheesecake that has a little bit of salinity to it, or a fruit tart. A fruit tart. Yeah. That's perfect for the holiday season, actually. Right. So the last Chandon sparkling wine that we will be trying is the Chandon Garden Spritz. I like this wine because, I mean, I don't know about you, Rox, but do you drink cocktails? Yeah, I do. I actually do. do. Yeah. Uh, I'm more of a wine girl, but when I do want to drink cocktails, I tend to stick to wine-based cocktails. What I love about the Garden Spritz is that it's almost like a pre-made cocktail, but made with very, very good wine behind it. So you're not going to get a headache from it, you know? like you would if you drank cocktail in a bar and you didn't know what was in it because it still has Chandon in there. On the nose, this is a little bit more herbaceous, no? And you definitely get that whiff of orange. I think this has yeah. some orange, orange liqueur in it. As a serving suggestion, would you drink it like this or would you add anything? I'd well. add some dried oranges and dried rosemaries to it. Yeah, I think that would just amp up the flavor a little bit. Quite sweet. A little bit of um, bitterness, almost like an Aperol Spritz, but it does not have the, the super, super bitter finish. 
Um, and what food would you enjoy with this? Oh, since this is a wine-based cocktail, um, I think I'd pair this with a, what do you call this? Bar chow, so nachos, fries, something like that. Correct. Yeah, I w I'm also thinking maybe um, onion rings. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. And mozzarella sticks. <laughs> there you go. So these are your four sparkling wines from Shandon. They are featured on the winery.ph website this week. Go check them out. But if you also want to check the bottles, um, you can drop by here at our global cellar door located at 2247 Don Chino Rosas Avenue in Makati City. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Until the next video. Cheers! Cheers. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please don't forget to click subscribe and leave a comment below. And be sure to hit the notification bell so that you never miss another video. Again, this is Chi. And I'm Miggy. Till the next drink. Cheers! Cheers.